Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Live for Wine and Conversations and we're sorry we're coming to you back a bit late but here we are and there is so much more to come. You I'm lighted. To, you have to be honest and say why we haven't been shooting. What's the reason? Because you've been busy dating and having relationships all over the country. Oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> so now we must wait for Lighten to oh, finish. Well, you know, so we when you're the star of the show. <laughs> <laughs> wow, welcome guys. Thank you so much for joining us yet again. Hi, it's been very long. We mustn't well. do this again. Yeah, no. not at all. Mm -mm. Yeah. We promise, we said, what did we say? We said every, every second, second week, week yeah. and yet we come every second month. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. Yeah, we're going to try and be really, yes, really good. We have yeah. to. Awesome, so what are we talking about this week? We are talking about happiness, and I think you need to let it on. Yes, we are talking about happiness, and the reason why I, I, mm -hmm. I wanted us to talk about happiness is because I was listening to an interview with Marianne Williamson. Yes. That's um, with Oprah, mm -hmm. um, Marianne Williamson wrote, you know, the most famous, yes. um, what's the book? Return to uh, Love. Return to Love. Yeah. And that quote about your deepest fear, exactly. which people yes. attribute to Madiba, it yes. wasn't Madiba, guys, yeah. it was Marianne actually Marianne Williamson. Williamson. Yeah. So anyway, they were talking about happiness and they were mm -hmm. celebrating, I think it's the 20th anniversary of Return to Love. I love and they were just discussing themes in mm -hmm. the in the, book, in the book and one of them was was Marian um um belief that happiness is something that you choose so she just said something yeah. in there that really made me wow it, you know when it's given a high moment <laughs> yeah i had an aha moment like which is oprah would have been proud yeah <laughs> so i'm going to read you uh, mm -hmm. what she said that that made me um really really uh, pay attention you know okay. she was saying if i'm unhappy there's something i'm not looking at correctly if i'm not happy i'm believing in an illusion and i'm seeing the evidence of fear instead of remembering that only god's love is real in any situation that alone is just deep like in any situation the Back only thing that's real is Amen. god's love right Amen. great and then she says so what has to change in that in that space where she's not an, she's not happy mm -hmm. um she says she's lo i'm looking at the gray clouds and deciding that the sky is gray rather than remembering that the sky is blue so just about this mm -hmm. she says the sky is always always blue mm -hmm. but sometimes the clouds are gray but just because the clouds are gray does not mean that the sun is gray. gray. Exactly. It just means on the other side there are the blue clouds, there's, there's, there's the, blue the blue sky. sky yeah. And these gray clouds are only there temporarily. temporarily. Go, yeah. But exactly. when you look at a, at, a, at a sad situation, you see you see that grayness and you believe life is, Le yeah. life is, 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 is gray. Whereas this is just a temporary situation. Mm -hmm. So that's what she's relating to here. And she continues, so if I want to be happy, I pray. Mm -hmm. I have a prayer that I say, and I say, dear God, I'm willing to see things, to see this differently. Mm -hmm. And that's her prayer, oh. to, to, to say, dear God, I'm willing to see this differently. And then she says, I'm willing to see this differently because I'm clearly looking through the eyes of fear, and it's showing me one reality. Then that becomes my perception, mm -hmm. and then my experience is that I'm unhappy. And then I'm projecting onto the, circum the circumstances and saying, I'm unhappy because of these circumstances. Mm -hmm. But it's not the circumstances that mm -hmm. are making me unhappy. I'm looking through a filter of fear. Mm -hmm. Amen, that's powerful. It is very powerful. That is powerful. And then she says, and she, when, when she prays, she says that in, the, in, in, in all of my thoughts of judgment and of blame should be removed. She prays that all her thoughts oh, should be removed of yes. blame and doubt and, you know, mm -hmm. blaming other people. People, of, exactly. Yeah, that should be removed. And then she says, the cause of miracles says, only what I'm not giving can be lacking in any situation. Hallelujah. Only what I'm not giving can mm -hmm. be lacking in any situation. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. When that she said that, I was like, oh, my God. Quotable quotes. Quotable quotes. Because I was thinking about that and saying, um, the firstly, I, I related it to, to two experiences. Yes. So I was going through stuff at work and I was just really unhappy with, 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 with how things mm -hmm. were. And I went to, to, to my boss to talk about it. And she, she was like, you know, this, this, what mm -hmm. you're, this structure that you're complaining about yeah. is not going to change. Yes. So how can I, what can I do? do to help you 
adjust mm -hmm. or be comfortable or ma be able to maneuver or find your way around this yes. because this is a reality yeah. that's not going anywhere yeah and and i thought you know what it's it's I can't just keep saying, ah, this situation, this situation, this situation. I have, to, I can, I, I can't change it. Exactly. The reality that you are showing me is, yeah. you can't change it. And you can either stay miserable or we can try to figure out how are you going then to figure yeah. out, you know, how to navigate okay, that situation, situation. Yeah. so that you can find your happiness mm -hmm. again. That is quite something. That is quite something. But it's also like what I got from like Marianne and like also from you is that it's, it's, um, it's a way whereby you actually have to make a decision mm -hmm. to not let circumstance mm. hinder you from um, seeing the picture beyond, beyond the present. The present. The present. So it's like it's really, really quite powerful. And I like that, you know, it's sort of like uh, it really clearly like unveils that um, we need to be able to make decisions to be happy and not to rely on certain things going right so that we become happy mm -hmm. and i think like earlier on like when we're listening to the postcard um podcast uh, podcast <laughs> postcard <laughs> <laughs> okay <Yes>. podcast people <laughs> podcast yeah. uh they spoke about um that whole thing of not having um what do you call it not having a uh, Actually forgot. <laughs> so they were really just talking about how yeah. you it comes it, it has to come from inside. It's that concept of happiness yeah. comes comes from inside. Yeah. You can't really expect it from, from external um exactly. sources. Yeah, I think that was that's where what, I was going yes. to. Yeah. Because if your uh, your happiness is dependent on something that's outside of you, as those change as as those things change, change. and move around, so does your happiness. Your happiness but moved. yes, but if you control it then it's it's like I'm in charge, yeah, you know, I, I decide. Yes, yeah. and I think, I think what's, what's, what's important is that, um, the, you know, when they talked about the, the blue sky mm -hmm. and the grey clouds, and I'm one person, when, this, when, the, when the sky is grey, mm -hmm. well, when the clouds, when they're clou so the grey... Grey clouds. Grey clouds. <laughs> in grey. In front of that blue sky, I yeah. forget. Yeah. I completely forget, and I'll be absorbed yeah. in this gray clouds and everything is gray life is horrible mm. and all of that but actually just remembering that it's not the forever it's yeah it's, it's, it's like temporarily yes. and it's also like you know to what your boss is saying that it's how what can i do in the situation to make the situation better mm. and i think like sometimes it's one thing that we forget and and i've tried to like do this it's like it's always easier said than done mm. but like in every situation where be it like a fallout with a friend or yeah. like an unhappy situation, relationship or whatever sort, I always, I always try and go back and think, okay, what could I have done differently? Mm. Regardless of how I felt about something, because at the end of the day, you have the power mm. to change the circumstance. Mm. But like little things like choosing to be happy and choosing to mm. accept certain things and knowing that this is not how it's going to be, mm. but this is what it is for now. Mm. But you know what? God is good and God is true and yes. this too shall pass. Yes. And it's like it's just comes down to that. Yeah, and, and I think remembering that life is so short, mm -hmm. life, and life is really, really short, and do you really want to spend um, your life being angry and at, 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 every, yeah. at life, at people, mm -hmm. at, at situations, you know, yeah. rather than, you know, um, there was this other, this other quote that I read that says that um, um, when, so something about when, when, when situations are not changing, maybe it's, it's 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 meant to not change yeah. so that you can learn Maybe how so. to deal you know sometimes when you try and change things but nothing yes. ever works and the situation does not improve yeah. so they're saying maybe it's meant to be that way so that you can learn to mm -hmm. to, to to navigate that new reality yeah. so i was thinking about how instead of trying to wreck your brains trying to change something you have no control over why mm -hmm. don't you rather See, okay, this is my new truth, which is the, taking it back to my work situation. Exactly. This is the new reality. How, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. How am I going to change to then try and, and, and navigate and, navigate and find exactly. my way around that situation? Yeah. yeah. And like to that point of like finding your way around stuff and like uh, sort of like giving, giving yourself up to getting to the situation and like living in that and learning from it mm. i heard something that uh i don't know who it was 
but then I think I read it somewhere. Some it, it says that sometimes God gives you like certain situations and obstacles to learn from, mm. and if you don't learn from them, you actually get them often up until you learn from oh them. Then God. that's when you move on wow. because that's you would kill you not you not have learned from them. Mm. <laughs> so and they are brought fun. into your life for yeah. you to learn, you exactly. know, for you to learn. Yeah. I was just thinking, you know, I was talking about happiness. I was just thinking about Akumzi and, yeah. and and his passing and how he was. Uh, the happiest of of people you happy, could you could meet happy, happy. and and i mean she he was only like 29 mm -hmm. 28 29, yeah, 29, 29 yeah. when he passed yeah. and i felt so much comfort in knowing that obviously nothing could be done to stop what yeah. happened but i felt so much comfort in knowing that this was a boy this was a young man who lived he lived he enjoyed he his lived. life he, he was lived. happy he lived. um he was loved, yeah. he loved, he lived, yeah. and he worked so, mm. so hard and at such a young age. Yeah. So I was just thinking about how he had such a short life, but... Yeah, but it was beautiful. beautiful. And, like, this is the thing, like, about, about Akumzi, like, I never knew him. Mm. But that, it was, was the beautiful but part But that is the it. beautiful part yeah. about the whole thing, is that, um, is that you, regardless of, like, knowing him or not knowing him, mm. Everything like when I heard that the first thing that I thought of was his smile and how yes, he laughed yes. Those are the first things that came to my head and I was like, um, you know what like I would like to be remembered in a way like this It's yes. like, you know, it's like when people think about you, it's like the first it's the first positive thing that comes to their yes. head so it's really, and really that, that is beautiful and I mean he, he It made me wonder as mm -hmm. well to say when my time comes what are they going to say about exactly. me what impact would i have yeah, left yeah. in the world yeah. and i mean he left such a positive impact everybody knew he loved god exactly. he was so unapologetic exactly. about his love for god yeah. he was so unapologetic was, about yeah. how he loved his mother, mother exactly. his friends, his friends it, yeah. he's just created this community around him that is like it, it was a shock. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. you talk about someone has died and mm -hmm. it, it's a shock. Akumzi was, Akumzi was a shock. Akumzi was a shock. And even, as you say, even people who did not know, know him, him exactly. people who had never yeah. met him, they felt it. They exactly. felt that loss. It yeah. was just hard for everyone. It's really, really and hard. I mean, uh, um, I, I, I think it, it, he's, he's going to be unforgettable. It's going to be very difficult for his friends to, to forget him. I mean, yeah. even for us, we, exactly. never, we knew him, I mean, but, when, um, but yeah. we were not very close to, to him. It's, we feel it. We feel yeah, exactly. the loss and the yeah. impact that he made in people's loss, lives yeah. and how he cared and just a cheerful, yeah, he was just happy, a happy person. And but that's the thing of like, you know, back to happiness being a choice. Mm. He, he made chose, it. yeah. He, he chose, chose to it. be happy, yes. and he lived his life in a happy way. And this is the thing about happiness: if you're happy, it just like it just reflects, it reflects it just on flows. everyone. It yes. just floats, and yeah. you know. So I think we we usually get sad, but I feel like those God takes these these people because we always wonder why does yeah. God always take the good ones first? He takes those people, but I, maybe I think it's 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 to remind us. Exactly. Of, of what's important, important. and what's exactly. important what's important is what I think Akumzi's life uh, was about but, yeah, he was passionate he about his work mm -hmm. um, he I mean at 29 he's achieved so much so he was much. producing so and directing much. presenting and so acting much. and uh, an so award-winning yeah. actor as well uh, yeah so, so Akumzi rest in, peace rest in peace and condolences to your friends and your family I think uh, his memory will live on. His memory will live on. Definitely, yeah. will live on. And we have happy to, memories. We have to, happy memories. Happy memories. <laughs> I remember when he hosted the JC Awards. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he hosted the JC yeah. Awards with, with Dinero Ranaka. Dinero Ranaka. Oh, okay. uh, I was beaming uh, with joy. Uh, I, I, it was just the most amazing uh, yeah, event. Events. Yeah, exactly. They were crazy. They, they were crazy. Oh, they fun. Yeah. Yeah. And funny. And yeah, I wish we had recorded that on video. I know. I know. Like sharing like a little <laughs> yes. clip. Yeah. So yeah, so Akumzi was definitely an example of, of how to live a happy li life and I'm thankful to have yeah. to have known him. And witnessed I'm thankful that, yes, know? to have just been exposed to that because mm -hmm. I really think it's it's a good um he was a good example, example of what exactly. we should aspire yeah. to be. Exactly. And and it it, it, it gets us to think it gets us to think like about what will your legacy, legacy be, be. What exactly. Will my legacy yeah, be? and because yeah, immediately you think of that, you're like, 
my god if i could just do like half of that half of that i'll be happy so let's just live happily yeah. let's just remember even now when you look at when you look at the fact that akumzi has left us the the the, the sky looks gray yeah. but remember it's just gray clouds the sky is always always blue and these gray clouds are going to definitely move mm -hmm. at, yeah. at some point yeah okay all right thank you for joining us today guys remember to follow us on youtube subscribe if you haven't subscribed but until next time which is going to be very very soon <laughs> thank you so much bye. guys goodbye cheers cheers